Hey, Hats Deck Mike here, and I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm gonna be running through Sonic 2 and seeing how fast I get through it. And this isn't any sort of like official speedrun or anything, because I have seen speedrunners and they are crazy good, and I am nowhere near that skill. This is a just for fun, let's see kind of thing. And I'm using a Hyperkid and a Sega Genesis USB controller, so somewhat authentic experience. And I'll be talking through it, and yeah, it'll be fun. And I'll be doing it all wearing a stack of hats on my head. Let's go. Should I pause it really quick first and start this timer. Yeah, starting off at Emerald Hill Zone. This was the first zone I ever played in a Sonic game, because Sonic 2 was the very first Sonic game I ever played. And I love the zone so much. I like it more than Green Hill Zone. I know it's not quite as iconic, but I just always like this one better. The music's better. Oh shit. The music's better, I think it. I think it looks better. It's not just like nothing but checkers. It's like a layer kind of. I was hoping to get under 30 seconds, but. Oh! I think I did pretty well. I'm happy with that. Stay up at the top here in Act 2. I love watching this part. I love this corkscrews. They just look cool. Look like I can take down Eggman pretty fast here. First zone in about a minute and a half, I'd say that's pretty good. Now moving on to Chemical Plant Zone, which is my favorite zone from the game. I, oh, I love Chemical Plant. It's probably my favorite song, and just the environment's really cool, and it's just a really cool zone. If they were to add a second, or I guess third Sonic stage in Smash Brothers, I would want it to be Chemical Plant, because I, uh, that would be cool. this one fast because I love the music so much. But try and do it anyway. Love spinning down this ramp here. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't good. And then yeah, this tube here it either takes you up or down. Okay, I'm going up. Yeah, I have no idea what determines which direction to take me. I'm sure there's something to it, but I don't know. Yeah. Love running through these parts. Yeah. And then, yeah, here it comes. The moment that everyone dreads. Let's see if I can do it without even touching the chemical. Oh, uh oh, -huh. yeah.
Ready? This Eggman boss is so easy, but I don't know. I have a history of falling down like a lot. Let's hope that does not happen right now. Yeah. Oh, I almost fell. Okay. Got too impatient there and almost didn't let the screen catch up. Next is Aquatic Rune, which isn't too bad if you don't go in the water much, but it can be a terrible zone. Let's hope, let's hope I can avoid being the water too much. We'll see how this goes. This is probably the zone I come back to least, so it's, I don't necessarily have, it, have its layout memorized like with the rest. Music's really good. Oh, oh, I fell. I fell. This is gonna hurt my time. Uh oh, I meant to jump. I meant to jump. Come on, give me a bubble. Alright, well my time's just gonna suck, I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm sorry y'all had to see that, I usually can get through this game without dying much, if at all. again. Oh my god, I, I'm looking horrible. I'm sorry, my fellow Sonic fans. I, I'm much better than this, usually. Okay, I'm gonna stay up here. Much better than cartoon than in this game. I saw it was kind of weird how he's brown in the game but then green in the cartoon, and I, don't know, I, I prefer his cartoon look actually. I like the green. I like green. I'm try and cheese this boss by just staying at the top here. sucked at that zone, I, I will admit, but hopefully the rest of the game goes better and my time still looks okay. Yeah. Like I said, a quack ruin, I don't know, I don't, I like the zone kind of, but I just never really come back and play this one much. Oh, Casino Night Zone, I have history with this zone, this, this used to be my favorite as a kid, I was, ah, oh, I missed this beat. I was obsessed with the slot machines, and yeah, fun fact, for anyone who was around in the Sonic fan base in the 90s. Oh, job. Okay. Yeah, I actually had one of the early Sonic fan sites that I made on Angel Fire, and it was called the Casino Night Zone. It had like a little banner with some graphics from the 
site. It, it was a really, it was a shitty site, but, you know, I made it as a kid, and I thought it was cool. I don't even remember what I really had on it. I think it was just, like, some cheats, you know, like, the Sonic 2 level select and all that. And, yeah, I think I had some midis that I probably got from other random... No, I did not want to do that. Some other random sources, and... I don't know, I mean, it was... One of those 90s GeoCities Angel Fire type pages. You, you know, probably know what... You could probably just imagine what it was like. Yeah, I kind of miss the days of the early Sonic fandom, and, like... There are a lot of kids in the Sonic fanbase now, but in the 90s, like, literally the entire Sonic fanbase were kids. And any Sonic website you found was just gonna... <laughs> it was just gonna be a trash fire, it was awesome. I'm in half there. Yeah, I think I might still have some, some stuff from that Casino Night Zone website I made archived somewhere. A little bit nostalgic, maybe I'll see if I can find that. Tempting as they are, as much as I love them, that, that's just kind of a time waster. Oh, shit. I used to have so much trouble with this boss. Not so much these days. Kinda just don't want to stay on the bottom of this one. Which I did not realize as much as a kid. Zen. Let's see, we're about 12 and a half minutes, so. Aquatic Rowan messing it up. It's still an okay time, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know what the records are. I'm sure the top speedrunners have already beaten the game by now. The top zone. This one was always a weird one. Just the music and everything, but I like it. I like when it got referenced in the Sonic movie. There was a sign that said Hilltop Road, and I was like, ah, I know that. Yeah, this song's so weird for a Sonic game, but I like it. A checkpoint right there, but then the end level's right there, so it's like, what's the point? Who's gonna go back and die after getting that checkpoint? That was always weird to me. <laughs>
keep spin dashing at times where I don't necessarily have to, but it's just kind of instinct. I just love reference spin dashes. This asshole trap there. Oh yeah, I'm missing that. Didn't quite make it up the ledge. Oh, my timing was not very good. This one was easy to cheese. Uh, I missed the ring, so who knows? Maybe I might. I, sh I, did, I just died. And I didn't get that checkpoint because I was so cocky and confident that now I'm back here. <laughs> I, I think I'm just too distracted talking while doing this, and I'm gonna go with that excuse. Yeah. Jump over the asshole trap again. There we go. Hey, I'm doing a lot better the second time around. Get this checkpoint just in case. Tails messes everything up by hitting him while I'm hitting him and making him go. Okay, there we go. And I lost my rings, but who cares? I love this song so much. The bass in the song is just so good. I like getting invincibility, but then I stopped the really good song from playing. Then I'll come back. This is the original version, so I'm not gonna go down that spike pit to go to Hidden Palace because that's not gonna be a thing here. That was so cool when they did that, though. It's that spike pit, that was just pure super sonic. You just kind of have to stand there and wait. I like the little teeter totters here. I kinda did a leap of faith there. Let's see where I'd land. Now it's time for Mr. Driller. I think I had just one more hit, so almost made it in one round. Yep. Uh, 
Alright. Okay. Through most of the game in under 20 minutes, so. Another song, or another zone with a really cool song. This one was so unexpected when it came back in Sonic Mania. Oh shit, okay. Like, of all the Sonic 2 zones, I was not expecting this one to come back, but it's kind of an unexpected, or a pleasant surprise. Because I hated this zone as a kid, but once you kind of know what to do, it's. It's not the. Oh shit. It's not the best, but... I always hate being down near the oil. Oh shit! Come back, come back, come back! Come back, come back! I am... My time's odd looking for me here. wonder if I can... Yeah! Remember I used to be able to shortcut like a long ways going on a cell. Oh, I'm back now. Checkpoint just in case, because you never know with this zone. Yeah, the Sonic Mania recreation, I'd say, was one of the best. They had, like, the submarines you could go to and stuff. That was cool. And you could light the oil on fire and just... Make a mess of the zone. these parts where you're like, these little shooter things just take you all around. Yeah, these things. I thought they looked really cool. Ah, it's still hitting. No, 
this old bastard here. Just gotta avoid these lasers. And I didn't! I didn't avoid the lasers. I still got him. Next up is everyone's favorite zone, definitely Metropolis Zone. Everyone loves that one. It's got good music at least. I mean, I can say that about every zone, but... zone really sucked. Especially those... Oh, and those... Oh. It's just all of them, yeah. Stupid grasshopper. Oh, shit, shit, shit! I knew that was coming, and I did it anyway. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Get the rings, jump over, jump over, go down, get hit. Crap bastard. Oh! Yeah, that, that's the kind of thing why people do not like zone. I want to go up there. Yeah, yeah, this is the good route. Oh, missed that jump anyway, but at least I have Tails here to help make this thing go faster. I know it's coming up yet. Let's go clockwise. So you have to like kind of look at where they are to know where they're coming. Still got hit by him. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh. Then you kind of like fall down here and then you get. Yeah, the last section of this act is so weird. You just kind of like continues to fall down these paths. And then you have to go like through the middle of one of them. Yeah. Yeah, and there's randomly like lava in this zone, just because why not? Let's add some lava. Gears. Those are kind of fun. Lot of tails. No leg. Another one that got somewhat remade in Sonic 4. And just like, why? Everyone hit. It was Metropolis and Labyrinth. Like, they purposely showed shows the zones that people like the least, and I, it always baffled me. Don't fall. The, oh. I see. I see.
every single turn. There's some asshole in this level. Because everyone loved the zone so much, they made three acts just because they wanted to give you that extra special something. How nice of them. Don't trust those things. They like to crush you. Uh, oh, no, 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 okay. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, no, no, okay. Uh, I'm getting better. Put this thing uh, in on it. Yeah. Now it's the weird Eggman boss where he makes little clones of himself and no, that's always weird. This one's so easy to get hit on, but you can always get that last ring then. Okay, I almost in there, but yeah, then you're set. Last clone, and then he gets desperate and shoots lasers, but no. Yeah. 35 minutes in, and almost done with the game. Now it's Sky Chase Zone, and. Uh, the zone's kind of boring. <laughs> you can't really run, you just. Like, I get it for the context of the story, we're chasing after Eggman in the sky because he has his Wing Fortress, but, uh, just boring. And I don't really have much to say right now, so... I'm sorry, this segment of the video might be kind of boring. kind of remade this in Sonic Mania Mirage Saloon Act 1. They had more of a twist, obviously, but... It's interesting to see. Mm. 
Oh my god, I died on Sky Chase. I'm sorry, I got a little too comfortable there. I am embarrassing myself in this video. Y'all just act, please believe me that I'm normally better than this. Typically I died maybe once or twice if I'm running through this game. But of course when I'm recording and talking it is. But it is what it is. There it is, the Wing Fortress. I'm not gonna stop when I'm running through this, but there's like little parts on the fortress that say Eggman, so everyone's like, oh, he was Robotnik in the 90s. They never called him Eggman yet. Like, there's kind of proof that he was Eggman from the start, and it was just the sake of America being weird and changing, changing his name. I mean, I grew up with Robotnik too. I'm not just trying to get get into the whole debate right now, but but just rejecting that the egg the, that the name Eggman was ever a thing is kind of dumb because that was what his name was when he was created. These parts, I always have trouble with these because, like, it's hard to tell exactly, like, which parts. I, I jump through them a lot. Okay, there we go, I got it. I'm gonna be cheap and take a shortcut right here. Purposely hurt myself. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> me. Song's so like epic and orchestral, I wanna say, for 16 minute Sonic. And I like it. And at the bus. Eggman hey, just stand there laughing like a bastard. Extra life up here just in case you never know. Now, watch. We'll watch like the one animated sequence in this game, other than the ending. Yeah, I'm just gonna mess up completely. Let's <laughs> hope that doesn't happen. Right. 
First we'll start off fighting... I've heard it called so many different things. Silver Sonic, Robo Sonic, Mecha Sonic. I call him Silver Sonic, because that's... I think he was called that in the Japanese manual. So... No. I'm just gonna call him Silver Sonic. Oh, sh... Okay, messed up. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. Aha, four hits. Haha, <laughs> got it. Alright, final boss. Gotta be careful here, gotta be very careful, no rings. Totally forget how many hits he takes, so I think I'm close. Well, I don't know. What? I did it. Stop that counter and. 42 minutes and 30 seconds ish. Cool. So if someone comes up to me on the street and says, Excuse me, sir, how long does it take you to beat Sonic 2? I can say, Oh, around 42 minutes and 30 seconds. And they will say, Thank you. Yeah. That was fun. I always like playing through Sonic 2. It's one of my one of my favorite games of all time, no doubt. I like this little cutscene too. Now, Tails comes to save the day. Well, Sonic saved the day, but then Tails saves him, so. Good job, both you guys. So that was me playing through Sonic 2. Yeah, something a bit different, but uh, what do you guys think? Would you like to see more of this, these kind of videos? I'm trying different things here. But don't worry, these won't replace my my standard videos. Those, those are still coming. Yeah, if I look up speedruns... I, I would guess... It could probably be done in less than half the time I just did now. But that's okay, I I'm not proud of this. 42 minutes, yeah. And yeah, if there's any other games you'd like to see me try out, I don't necessarily have to do something I am well versed in. Ruin. Yeah, okay, I messed up a lot in Aquatic Ruin. That's probably the thing I'm embarrassed the most about, but... But I'm, I'm still gonna publish it anyway. Everyone could just see me get too cocky underwater and not be able to breathe and then die twice. Actually, I think I like the two-player Casino Night Zone music better than the one-player one. And... I kind of wish they were reverse because I just love that versus mode song so much. 
An Emerald Hill first mode song's pretty good too, but not as good as the main one. And then Hilt Hilltop with its weird music that I love. Yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here, but yeah, thank you all for watching, whoever was able to have watched through this, and hope you have a hat stack and good day.